Hey, what up dudes, Insane Isaiah 64 here. Welcome back to more Honkai Style Rail. Last time we did the last of the side quests with a Fox Stroll Garden for uh, Foxy and Tail of the Haunted. As we finished those up, we got through the last bit of the story. Had a couple of funny uh, side quests too. One with Jinkwe, which actually I liked a lot. But anyways, um, as we finish that, there is still some challenges left to be done. Consider this like a bonus episode to go through everything that this map has to offer because this will be our last time walking around this map and enjoying the scenery. Now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take you back to the past for a minute. I did rush through the last two, uh, or there's two worldly worldly uh, challenges you had to do. You had these uh, side cranes you go around and they collect spirits and souls. Kind of like earlier how like they had like a there was like remember what part it was I think it was part four or five maybe six one of those um there's a side crane you go around and collect spirits in the gorg and that's pretty much it that was all there was to it I got those done and there was a ghost chest that was right here I actually did the last one I didn't know I had one more with them but there was an achievement for it and fox was driving to obtain a total of nine pathfinder rewards and they got that one done kind of off camera but i'll show you to you right here it wasn't too much anything special it was just like the chest stuff he had a, he gave you a couple chests for each one you beat and pretty much that was it really that was all there was that you that you i didn't really record or really show well i did record them i just didn't show them for like an episode for like a part but there is two challenges left to do on this map before we go run around exploring and find these last two chests there's this challenge here which is a suppressed tower i think i did the first one here yeah because i was rushing but i can do it again there's no problem so you get the last of the exorcism awards too and this is the suppression tower but we're gonna do this first which is be gone which is beyond evil i think there's like four parts of this we gone evil four parts yes Every time an enemy takes action, their attack, defense, and speed increases by 15%, stacking up to five times. All stacks are lost within when weakness break is inflicted. When enemies attain friend fire, obtain when enemies attain friend fire, immediately obtain four stacks and stacks of the stats increase. Each time the excess is used, all attack all allies attack increases by 20% and defense increases by 20%. Pretty straightforward. You get a bunch of enemies and you get Cyr and you get Cirrus, who pretty much works the same mechanic as um works the same mechanic as throughout the story you just like beat a bunch of but uh, bleh can't talk right now you beat up a bunch of his enemies and you just go from there you just do waves of enemies there's like three different mini bosses and i think it's recommending one of these three i like the trotter one but i think we're gonna go with the wait the fleet enemies toughness and simulation simultaneously deals damage to them as well as making them retrieve more damage i'm gonna go with this one and since we're talking about weakness break let me bring i'm bringing i'll bring fushuen let me bring himiko kafka and i guess branya because why not the mechanism wait we already went for all this And of course you can that was weird and of course you can start out doing your field buffs which you definitely want to do now as i finished those last few challenges early on i did get the relic tuner i wanted but i'll uh i'll go over that in a minute because what it showed me was like nothing because what it gave me was like nothing it was actually kind of a ki kind of a kick to the stomach in a way because I was building up Himiko and wanted to get an orb for her and it gave me the worst orb imaginable with attack and defense only yeah it was not good so I entirely went for a completely different artifact piece with her anyways actually what am I doing I can do this got friend fire back again Shifter for that relic tuner was not worth it, sadly. But I did get everything done kind of on time. Let's see. Oh yeah, wait a minute. Reducing that toughness too. Himiko immediately uses her um her special. Oh no, follow up. Sorry, because she she works on weakness breaks. Too bad there's only one dude, not multiple enemies. This would be really good for her. Right, they can't attain it more than four times, right? 
Bring Kafka forward. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. I have something for you. And I'm already messing this up. Here, Fushwin's got hers now. And Branya's got it. No, I messed that up again. I thought because she did that. I thought because Fushwin uses her ability right there. I thought that messed up the order a little bit. Save that for a minute. There we go. Now we're back in business. Right, he's resistant into it a little bit. Watch that advance forward too. Stand still. May as well kill him. Gonna save that. So it might might be good right here. Yeah, it immediately stacks up to three times for her. That's pretty nice. Perhaps you see men who never can see as its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Yeah, we get on this. Yeah, one more guy. These can feel tanky. I will get. I will say that much at least. These can feel tanky. Thanks. I'll just get the friend fire back. Should have brought Silver Wolf. Thinking about the weakest break though. Getting caught out of Kafka here. I have something for you. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. You won't get away. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. Hmm. Good times. Time to say bye. Bring that back up. All things in the human creation. Okay. The DOT finished him off, and that was pretty good. Yeah, I thought I had to do all that. To get the rewards and stuff, and apparently did not have to rush through this part, so. I'll let this op I'll open so you can see what these were like. He's bringing a bunch of birds, oh my god. Enemy taxes, allies use just one skill point. When enemies are defeated, all allies receive one skill point. What are you recommending to me? I'll recover a skill point. Over four skill points on play spiritual command. Yeah, we'll go with this one. There might be multiple enemies in this one, actually. Might go with the same team, honestly. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, except I'll bring Jingliun with us. Go pretty much with the same team, just bring Jingli with us. But yeah, the orb I wanted to get for uh, Himiko was complete trash, so I went with a completely different build for her, and I've been building her up for a while now. I thought weakness break would be better for her, and it is. But I don't have her speed up to 145, which is what you need for the double effect on this to work. It still gives you the 16% break effect, but not the uh, 20%, so I still need more speed. I need, like, speed on this chest piece, the gloves, and the, the helmets. And I haven't found a decent one yet. If this fly attack was speed and was up by like seven or something, I think that would have been enough. Maybe. 
No, I think it needs to be way more than that. You're like seven, eight, or nine. I need like high rolls on that, which are really hard to get. But I'm working towards it. Oh, now I know why it does that um fade out. It's adding Cirrus to it, which is kind of weird. Burn away. Burn. The moon shines on the Actually, I can't consume. Yes, you can consume golden trash for more skill, for more tech points. As funny as that is. Does that hurt? Let's begin. Someone's giving me a cakewalk. If you're just bring never mind, there's Hanky. It'd be fun for Himiko, because then she can just like work. God. Pizza cutter for him. Calls her weapon a pizza cutter. It does look like one. I'll take that. Give me those four skill points. These are tough birds. I'm gonna say I have to make them tough to kind of balance things out, I guess. Yeah, that's why I think break effect's good on her. Mm. Hold on to your thing, Jay Leon. I really got a good do a team for crowd control. I should use my burst right there. Oh, save your food spin spurs just for that. You don't like electricity. You won't get away. Stand down. Yeah, I say my Himiko's build up enough for um I would say for the next uh big update this game's gonna have in a couple weeks. With Pelicani and everything, because I'm definitely taking her with me uh through Pelicani for the entire story. Hmm. Stand still. Time to wait. Now, all things human creation. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> you won't get away. May as well kill them all. Do like how this one's pretty quick, much quicker. Good times. Time we can get our ultimate life. back. I just want to go ham for a minute. Or maybe not. No way. We we still can. You won't get away. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You have one bird left. And there is that one. So yeah, as we're um, cleaning all these up, I just like to show them to show what these were like. Ooh, relic, relic remains. We do need more of those. We gone evil three for each enemy defeated. Other enemies targeting da damage. Other enemies targets damage increased by forty percent. Stack up to four times. You send the access to use all allies attack increase by 20, right? So they do more damage. So that's the one that like buffs the fish every time it had a chance. I can reflect damage for all allies. I'll go with this one actually. So damage increasing. Uh, I'll bring in the trailblazer. I see imaginary. I'll take trailblazer, silver wolf. Locha and a thinking Asta since there's like well I mean there's one enemy weak to fire but Silver Wolf can also help out with weaknesses by providing more fire damage fire weaknesses let's go 
But yeah, as we go through this, um, I guess I can talk about my thoughts on the story whatsoever. There's also a space anchor here. Interesting. Interesting that they provide a space anchor during this. You think you would be smart enough to heal before any of this? Let's wait. Hmm. Nah, you don't like burn. If it was quantum, I would have shot her with silver rolls cannon. Her arm pixel cannon. That will have defense up. It'll be nice, you know. <laughs> yeah, I really liked this event, actually. It was pretty long. It was pretty lengthy, actually. I was kind of surprised at the length of it. I didn't think I was going to have like 10 parts of this. I thought I was going to have maybe five, maybe six parts of this out. But no, it was like seven parts or no, 10 parts. And I was like, oh, like that right back at him. Aha, uh -huh, pay attention for once. Ow. Let's do that again. Face everyone forward and speed them up. Yeah, we go ham a little bit. I think now. Now we're good. Once we're weakening them, we're, we're good. Hmm. Still got a shield. Now nah, they're going to have it. Wait, waste it there. Oh, the stack? Can you have like another shield on top of another one? Oh, it seems like you can. That's kind of cool. I thought I wasted that for a minute. Kind of like a smart design choice, actually. You just joint that away from me. <laughs> we can take it back in a minute. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Nope, I should not have done that. How many times they can they not steal it? No more than four, right? Yeah, four, okay. Silver Wolf's got it, so that's fine. I'm trying to focus on this, but I also want to talk a little bit about the story. We're just like so into this right now. Um. Now. It was like just micromanaging. That's all this event really was, which isn't a bad thing. Definitely something they haven't tried done before. Well, that's good. Saved it. They suppressed. They suppressed the trailblazer for a minute, and I was like, It's interesting. The uh, main shield that I provide has not gone down at all. You would think it would go down with the with the super shield with the reflecting shield, but no. So you can technically a triple shield yourself in a way. Oh, Dot got her. That one's fun. I like that one. Just reflecting damage right back at him. And we got one more be gone evil, and then we're pretty much done. Oh no, I gotta go do the uh, exorcism stuff. Shoot. Alright, that's fine.
That's not an issue. Also, playing subscriber plan. My god, one silver ticket. That's definitely worth it. Yeah, we gotta do this one and then the big one, I think. Or I think I gotta do Begone Evil before that. Yeah, you gotta do Begone Evil. Okay, I understand that now. Hey, right, we'll see what this one's got. I was attained Fire and Fire no more than one time. Have no done characters and battle for more force four more cycles. Hmm. Oh, a mixed bag here. I might go back with a uh, double trailblazer. Actually, let's do. Wait, no, let's do. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this weird team. Actually, wait a minute. How, how I want her on slot three, actually. I know some people recommend her on slot two and four, but I've been trying her on slot three and I don't really mind it. I think it's okay. Oh, we're going back to reflecting one. That's fine. When enemies attack and deal damage to an ally, the ally that inflicted with, infected with wind shears for two turns stack up to five times. This can only take effect one time per action while affecting wind shears at the start of each turn. The ally will receive 50% of the attacker's HP and wind DOT. Okay, so just DOT. You gotta be aware of that. That's not an issue. DOT is like nothing. Right. Yeah, I got it. I mean, I got that fire right away. No trailblazer has it. Yeah, we good. Now, how how's got it? We're just good. I think this is just one wave of enemies. I don't think it's um, multiple like the early one. Don't need any healing, so we're good on that. This combat needs optimizing. Here, break this guy. One four cycles, right? You took the bait. Time for a <laughs> so the fire weakness. Shit, I could heal just for the damage increase. Sometimes you kind of want to do that for how how just so you can just benefit from her buffs because she likes she's like a buff healer in a way Please break And we're good Difficulty unlock right that's all we're really missing is those last few subscriber plans. Quote, unquote. At least these don't go away. These are all permanent. That's a good thing. Uh, enemies, right. It's all the same conditions. Let's change up a little bit. Let's go with... Bring Locha in here. Let's bring... Baranya. Scroll down my list a little bit. Yeah, that's good. When enemy attacks, deals damage. Ally oh, no, it's all the same thing. Okay. It's all wind shears and stuff. And they're recommending just this one. Okay. We'll just blast through the sun. Yeah, let me, let me actually talk about the story a little bit. Um, I like the story in this event. It wasn't bad whatsoever. Again, I was surprised, more surprised in how long this took me to get through it. After everyone else had already been done with it. Like I said, I plan I plan to keep up with the content in this game more. 
After this, I'm probably gonna do like the newest stuff and then do all like the uh, side quests I haven't done yet. Stand still. We gotta make room. That's our next. That's our next uh, story stuff. Gotta go back to her to space station before Palakani. I'm a little curious to see how the story in Palakani is gonna go. Cause like the new characters they're, they've been like talking about or they've been like kind of been getting leaked around has been uh, interesting to say the least. Let's see. Oh, boy, too hard. Hold on. They might get it right here. Yeah, they're going to. They were all reflects right back out, and that was great. <laughs> we got Bronya right there, so she can help help us with the flame. Well Who's got this one? Yeah, we good right here. Or oh, no, wait a minute. Yeah, Kafka. Yeah, this one and I think the um the one where you can turn them into trotters, I think that those two are like my favorite ones. Cause this one's nice. Can I kill this one? Yes I can. But that leaves us open. I'll do it again. Went too ham too early, and that's what kind of screwed it. But I can do it again. It's not an issue. I'll see you off. Good times. Time to say bye. Uh, it doesn't matter. Stand still. Right, let me go fix that. There we go. Fixed it real quick. And it only took a half a minute. Two left. Seen war and magic, but mostly seen ice. Let's get rid of... Let's keep everyone, but replace Kafa with Jingleon. I know, right? Dare I replace Kafka? Mostly ice. Am I allowed to go ham a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Shoot. No skill points for Lady Foo. Just hold on to her ult almost for a little bit. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. There we go. Sometimes I forget to let Fushwin put her off uh, Matrix down. Happens to the best of us. Uh, the HP cut in half thing. It's been a hot minute for that, too. It's because we haven't been really... I mean, no, wait, we have been fighting Lafu. Look at Wocha's. Eternal sleep. The dead returns. I see through you. Get that guy out of here. Just hang on to the Ultima.
Yeah, we good. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Like that moment that goes up to Lotra, it's like, yeah, I go nuts. Awesome, I think we got one more to do. Yes, we do. Two mini bosses. I actually know it's just those coral guys and the um the guy with the wind shears. Let's see. Double burn would be nice. I'm thinking that Kafka. Yeah, you know what? My go-to for DOT. Let's try to DOT this. I think that would be more fun. Time to get vigilant. Funner, more fun. Who will it be? Everything is ridiculous. Star, give these trailblazers your blessing. Good times. Time to say bye. Go. Yeah, in terms of like characters during this event, I really like Ho Ho's introduction. You chose the wrong enemy. She was really cute and I really appreciate all I really like the uh, voice actress that she that plays her. She did a good job. I mean hell everyone does a good job of voice acting in this game, Are you kidding me? Sub no matter what, they all do great. May as well kill them all. I am not objected to any kind of um double over sub, but eh, that's just me. Everyone's got their own tastes. Get that, break that guy out of that. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say, I think I messed up, but no, I didn't. Thought I did. Lance at the ready. Who invited you? Given the burn. Good times. Time to say bye. Just him left. Stands down. Yeah, we can do this. It's kind of a shame there's no way to cancel your Ultima, but I think I can understand why they haven't done anything with, with that yet. I don't know if they ever will. would be a good quality of life change if you could cancel your ultima in case you need to especially like implementing future mechanics they might play around with that let's settle this maybe maybe who invited you everything is ridiculous star give these trailblazers your blessing say bye to breathing this guy's gonna be tanky really do not need to apply a shield I think now I now I have to, to start applying shields. So the Trailblazer has at least some of their uh, stacks. Eternal sleep. Return. Who will it be? May as well kill them all. Lance of Blaze. Lance. Forward. There we go. I'm just gonna say, dude, just die. So, so all those are done. This tower is pretty much completed. Right, let's see about finishing this up. And then we'll just wander around the map till I find those last two chests, and then we'll pretty much be done with this. So I'll see if there's anything to interact with too that I haven't shown off yet. I think that ghost girl's still around, so we have to. I think we gotta go talk to her. 
Uh, when enemies attack and deal damage to an ally, that ally is inflicted with wind shear. Oh, that's right, it's a wind shear thing. Wait, this one has the wind shear too? What are you recommending? You know what? Trotter. I like that one a lot. Play around with weaknesses and stuff. This is about DOTs and whatnot. Oh good, you're weak to everything I am using. The moon shines on the Burn away. What? Let's go. Then a rheumaton too, on top of that. Turn him into a pig. More time for a bug. I have something for you. Fancy forward, but he doesn't have the flame. Stand down. Trust me. He'll be scared and then we'll reset. All will be That's all away. he can do? You won't get away. I see this one might be really fast. Can I have fun this time? It actually it actually this will combat. be. This is double speed. Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Okay, he's got more. I was just gonna say, there's no way that's all he has. Nowhere to run. Hey, he says you can bring more guys in here. I have something for you. I only turned the one to a pig. Perhaps you humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. I like how he doesn't get hit by the laser in the background. He's just hanging out back there. Serious. All things in this world. Human creation. When shoes aren't gonna do anything, bro. There we go. 66k. And to remove, but that's okay. Get back to pig. Check humanity, return to piggy. Cause that's how that works. Will be in lunar flame. 67k, jeez. How Jing Liu hit so hard. She was like uh, the, f the easiest character for me to pull. I only did like 20 pulls for her and I got her. It was really stupidly lucky. Two on top of this, right? Yeah, this is the last guy. So far, we're doing good. Never got to hold the flame yet. Give it the silver wolf. Why not? I think I don't know if doing that increases the duration of this. I'm gonna assume it does. You're done. Or on chessboard. Nice. We got that silver achievement. And we got all these rewards too. Now there's one last thing, challenge thing we gotta do, and it's back at the book table. Or no, is that all of it? Give me a silver ticket. 
Oh, no, wait, that's everything. Okay, cool. Oh, this was the centerpiece. I didn't really realize that because you teleport right on top of it. Gotcha. Understood. Well, with all that done, that actually was pretty pretty fun, actually. Really easy challenges, too. I guess I could have done that in the last part, but it was just the last part was, like, over an hour long. So it's like, eh, that's good enough. And this one's going already going up to, like, 40 minutes on recording. Uh, let me take a look at that achievement. Really, all challenges in Exorcism, Exorcism Chronicles. Now, there is two chests left that I have to go hunt for. So I will go find those and show you where they are. I think if I had to take a guess. Just wander around the map until we find them. I'm sure they can't be too hard to find. Plus, they make a sound. I had to look into this because I don't know who's musically talented on the Lafu because I could literally be any NPC in the whole game. But apparently this is like a hidden quest and there's many more of these in here. Especially with that ghost actor we talked to earlier. But the person you need to go to... It's getting late. Where to now? And it's Gong Yu, Gong Yu, this music person right here. You know about Jinkoi music? It's not my area of expertise, but I know a little. Have you got any recordings for me to listen to? Gong Yu, Gong Yu listens to the unfinished Gwing piece and learn about the Gwinchin Master final wish. I understand the whole picture now, but I'm afraid I can't help you. You won't give it another try? But don't worry, I'm thinking you won't have to leave it here empty handed. As far as I know, several hundred years there used to be a master Gwinchin player Aboard the Zansha Lafu, he met me. He met his musical soulmate, a short life species, before his untimely death. There was were unable to complete the Jinkwe song. The Jinkwist thought he never find another musical soulmate like this, and decided to never play Jink Drinkwin again. But he was for, forever filling filling with regret by this unfinished masterpiece. That's how the story continues, right? I really wanted to hear what happens in the stories, so what's next? The descendants of the short legs composer grew up listening to the tale of the Jinquin, and one of them came to the La Fu loaning to learn more about the Jinquin's ancestors. They brought the musical score and found someone to play the record, the Unfinished Symphony. Later on, the incomplete tune was posted online. Lots of music lovers studied and fl bend bendishly, friendishly difficult piece to get to together setting off an aging jink jinkwin fad in just a few ye short years the jinkwin song began appearing in the textbooks after hundreds of years of analyzing and studying the friendliest friendliest difficulty jinkwin piece had become practice drill for beginners spawning countless different versions is that how everything works out perhaps when the jinkwist was all still alive such a thing it has hard to find soulmate still exists. But if this tune was left by Vicuitus 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 dude of time, it could always meet you know, new soulmates in the future. They were reaching its peak performance. I cannot help you because you already have too many answers. Hey. Interesting. New Jinquins recording. So tell you. Let's head back. How's it going? Did you finish the song? You explained to him what became of the Jinquist song later and played, a f played him a recording. And they're expecting the Jinquist to have so many new soulmates after all, all this time. Will the Jinquist really consider them soulmates of his too? Humans, hobbies... How am I supposed to answer the question like that? However, I suppose there is a vibra vibrations of strings I did manage to feel a touch of freedom. Then without any further ado, allow me to give it give it a play right now. The heel bus takes possession of the Jinquist once more and starts playing. Thank you, the Jinquist le legacy is now complete. I am B2. I'm free! My fingertips sings. Uh, 
I like this instrument. Pretty cool. Listen to it. I've heard this kind of instrument being used in like um, the Legends of the Skyward Sword. There's a dungeon that has this kind of instrument be played. But it's not till like, I think it's like, like the fourth dungeon in the game or the fifth. It's like a water dungeon kind of thing. Like water dragons and shit. It's actually pretty cool. I definitely will play that game. You'll hear what I'm talking about when we get there. But anyways. That's for future let's play. Um, where else to? There's more to do in this place. So apparently that was like number four on the list of like the healer by ghosts you should help and do all the side quests and stuff. Apparently this QR code actually means something. As it tells us to pull up our photo. Our phone actually. Who ever posed a friend's wanted ad here? Interesting. My dearest outworlder friend, I am earnest. I am esteemed Vidyarara, High Elder. I was wounded by abominations and have been dor dormancy for a thousand years. I only awakened very recently to plan to restore, restore the glory of the Vidyarara lineage. Unfortunately, I have lost all my worldly possessions and currently find myself financially shortfall. I was hoping you can lend me 50,000 credits. Once I return to the Jian Shao, I will pay back tenfold and even let you choose anything you desire from the priceless video out of treasure. 50,000 50, credits won't be enough. Which high elder are you? I better not reveal my identity to avoid drawing on one attention. After all, I'm not, I'm not on the Jian Shao. Don't worry, I'll ask you in person. Don't even ask to borrow money from me. Is he for real? What am I gonna do? Or the message to Dong Hong. Dong Hong used an alt account to borrow money from you. You couldn't even make this you couldn't even make this up, even if you in your dreams. You can't tell what this behavior is based on. It's a habit habitual teasing between close friends and vague vague vigilance of being on the road that forces you to ask him. For confirmation. Ultimately, you decide to forward the anonymous message to Dung Hung himself. Dung Hung, you. I didn't send that message. Don't fall for it. I can't. And don't transfer any credits, Isaiah. Be careful that if you receive these kind of messages in the future. By the way, you didn't actually get scammed and, cr and transfer any credits, did you? Don't worry, I didn't fall for it. Such a basic scam. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> Interesting. Hi, Elder. Here, pay up. Also, some hidden achievements here, too. Right, let's see. What else is there? Back at this entrance, when I did my intro, there's this ghost girl here. Hmm. <laughs> what a real headache. How'd I get separated from my friends? He probably wouldn't... He would probably do nothing and just sit there. I'm really, I'm really too lazy to move. So I think, um, it's a little hard to put into words. How should I say? Want me to swat you away with my trusty bat? No. Sounds like trouble. Time to haul. Wait, no. Listen to me. I just want you to bring me over there. It's simple. I'm a Healy bus and you're a human. I can latch onto you. Then you walk over to my friend and I detach myself. And everything will be over. I'll give you a small token of appreciation. Don't know, would you like to attach me to yourself? Mm. Come on then. I'll carry you over. Why not? Yeah, I'll never forget to show kindness until I get to my friends. Let's go do that. Since when did fix All caught up. I might need Sela in case I get into a battle. 
Oh, this purple ghost here? Are you making humans go on your errands for you again? It's so boring if I show garden. What else can I do? Are you really happy like this? I don't know if you're I don't know if you're happy or not, but I I'm pretty happy You enjoy that gift. Okay. Bye Praise of high morals And a grand wait, what else was that? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Oh No, that's something that's not what I got Ting dong Ting dong interesting I don't think this what else what I got. I think it was a consumable. I think it was this. Yeah, actually that makes sense. I think it was that. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we brought a ghost over to her friend. Bye. That was really close. Anyways, let's investigate this. There's no incense burner. Push it in slightly, though. It made a mere normal incense. It's it may be a mere normal incense burner, but in a way, it's out. It's also outstanding. It's like an incense burner leading a leader barking at his incense burner rookies. Whosoever wants to take on this difficult assignment, take one step forward, and see them all shuffle back in silence. For the sake of this wee little incense burner and all the elevate my intrusive. Intrusive thoughts. I should push it in a little more. Oh, you found me. Oh, I thought you were Fury Knox. You spoke to me for a second there. Oh, yes, that's right. Fury Knox isn't with us anymore. I got all gobbled up by a wicked by that wicked Cirrus, so I won't be needing these anymore. They're yours now. All because I pushed a push the incense burner in. Yes, only a considerate person would ever do such a thing. You earn my approval, so I want to be so I want to reward you. I tell you by packing guarding guarding Reggie Reggio Bells, anyways. What about it? Or would you think it'd be strange if I told you that told you Healy by have an extra dimensional pocket inside our bodies? That's kinda cool actually. You don't have to get all look all up in the Healy by his business. That, that's true. Here he knocks that that's the familiar name. Who was that again? It's that knucklehead who won't use the haunted fixtural garden, but tricked us, but got tricked by Cirrus. They claim to have dev devised a strategy capable of dis deceiving to find the Ten Lords Commission. But it's just left me laughing my pants off. However, I quite like playing hide and seek with Fairy Knox. <sighs> Great, I'll take it. Here's something for you. It might be a little stinky, but it could be very useful. Take it. Well, I'm trying to get. Trying to think of other ways to reward you. Got any good ideas? Hmm. Float some balloons with some targets, hide them up in the sky. And what will you do to shoot down the balloon? It's all the balloons. I pop up. I pop out. What if you didn't have a bow and arrow? And didn't have the cash for that? That's true. Leave a big boulder in an obvious place. And when you move the boulder, I appear. Brilliant. But something tells me that most people wouldn't move the boulder. They just leave it. They just left hiding there in the pitch black blackness. Use the instant instant burners from form a circle and leave a gap. Genius. But getting a bit repetitive now. Let me have. Let me have a think. What if I just? What if it, if you just gave me a reward straight? I have no compliments, but it is a sense of ceremonious. Ceremony something on which humans place great importance Celebrating the day you were born the day you met and the day you died isn't that just isn't that just tedious? So you ask can I just leave? So you ask can I just leave you the reward? No complete the challenge. And I'll give you that I'll give you the reward. That is the rules Whatever I'm gonna have another think you enjoy a gift. Okay. Bye Thanks, I guess But now we teleport to this location. And look who's here. Oh, ho, ho, you found me. Are you exhausted? Actually, I'm exhausted. By the way, do you remember we met three times now? I had over 900 puzzles prepared for you, but I'm getting tired. 
So I decided to give you give you everything at one, all at once. I like that. Give me everything. Don't worry, I got everything ready. Enjoy that gift, okay? Bye. Boo ha ha ha. It gave me trash. That's funny. It gave me golden trash. Oh. Yeah, that's funny. Pleasant, sorry, pleasant looking trash. Want to spar? All right now, Sila. I think Ghost Girl is next, and we did talk to her once, but we didn't talk to her after that. Behind the scenes, I hear by continuously singing the Zahuman Flower Drum Opera. It's f firmly believed that the era of Zahuman Flower Drum Opera has not been has not finished. Also, the emptiness of the theater will one day be filled with rapturous applause. Behind the scene, oh, I guess that's it. Put that. It says wait until the next day. Hmm. I did do this off screen at one point, but I think I did it wrong because there's like a whole thing Yeah, there's like a whole option you're supposed to pick from this So I guess I'll wait till that becomes available. I'll probably Go that or whatever it's Kind of lean doesn't let me try it again, but eh, whatever Oh price people you're here. That's great. Let's begin our next lesson this is things very simple. Just the two of us, master and apprentices, singing a song, wedding wine together. It's a humming flowers, drums, opera, opera, traditional song by two sing singers to produce the eeriness of the possessed hillaby. I'll sing the first half of the line, and you finish. We'll sing the first st stanza, and then you'll be basically have learned it. So let me sing it to you first. Devotion, my heart does yearn to know. To know by you, my love, in return. Candles flicker, casting shadows on the wall. My bones wick, my flesh, the fragrance call. Robes fall away, revealing my desires. In Hibis, tent and our, our passion shall transpire. At night we embrace as one, so tight. Come tomorrow, you'll take fl your flight. How's that? Can you remember it all? Got it. Alright, then you have to remember that you'll get... You have to remember that you'll get beaten if you make a mistake. This isn't just this isn't just to be cruel, it's just so you can learn the song. Let's get started, old boy. My heart does yearn. Candles flicker, casting shadows on the wall. My bones are wick and flesh and all. Rose falling, revealing my desire. Passion thus transpire. At night we embrace one so tight. And tomorrow I'll take your flight. Did I do it? You miss up a few lines. <sighs> Looks like Tender starts their old methods. I'll prize people. Blame on your die master. Oh, what? All right. No it's just a fish. Everything is ridiculous. Oh, star, give these trailblazers your blessing. Nice. Time for a fun. <laughs> this is double speed. You, you, you sinner! You dare fight back? You're really a blasphemer, violating human re really. Relations with cruel malice. Sorry, I'm just so used to fighting back. Sorry, I lost my composure. Really, it's not your fault. It's it's all me, and the world of mine what I once knew is obsolete. Despite the cosmos being fault filled with fools thirsting for a mortal life, living forever is not all it cracked up to be. Just like me, people often find themselves casting the winds of time. The wave of time is just like the rainbow arbiter Lux arrow. I am but a tiny flame cast aloft in the cosmos. No matter how hard I chase, I can't catch up with the tail of the arrow shot. No matter what, we still keep singing here even if there's nobody in the crowd. Thank you for singing the opera with me, Isaiah. Investigate. Behind the scene, 
screen the Heliobus continues singing as a humming flower drum opera. It firmly believes that Arrow is a humming flower drum opera is not finished, but also the emptiness of the theater will one day fill her repertoire's applause. You notice some loons have been a bit vandalized. A bit of vandalism nearby, as evidence of the thick dust gathering on the tombstone scrape and scraps of paper nearby. You carefully scrutinize the tombstone. Two holes have been poked through the dust to make it look like nostrils or maybe or maybe eyes. As you and the tombstone look at each other over, you decide. Uh, wipe the dust with your bare hands. With some efforts and the scripting carved into the grave tombstones. Sorry. With some effort in the description carved in the tombstone, tombstones carved into the stone gradually appears. It talks of some boxing techniques you never heard of, and it may be a unique and hidden relic of the passing down from the Zancho, Zancho ancients. You quickly go over the mysterious boxing manual. Each move is de detailed and easy to understand, making it great for beginners. You give a several... You give several of them a try, putting them together, several powerful moves, and you instantly understand the very value. You decide to commit everything on this tombstone to memory, and so you begin carefully studying it. But no matter what, you're unable to figure out what the final sentence means. This requires high gluten flour. This high gluten flour sounds like a food, perhaps an intrusive supplement, or perhaps a special meaning in boxing. Boxing floor, suddenly a familiar figure pops into your mind. As a Yunchen at the Spices Supreme? People might know about your fighting powerless but a few only know but a few only know about your cooking skills you should hold a great arm you should you hold a great arm alley cook-off contest to show the world your talents you cast in, in your mind back of arm alley master young chu chu and and the many that praise her skills speaking of which she should see she should have a grasp of what it what the last line of this boxing manual meant Interesting, but that's not that's not it for that. It does reward you, yes, but there's a little more to that. If you actually go to Arm Alley and actually talk to her, I love chatting about food with people. Well, visit my regular customer. Spices of Supreme is all about making affordable, tasty dishes. Come and take a seat, or maybe like to have another talk about food, young man. I actually want to ask you about the secret behind the Zancho boxing. You come to the right place. I'm a top, not top discipline of the cloud, cloud banner meteor fists. I practiced 48 chambers of boxing since I was a knee, knee high to the grasshopper. Unfortunately, I never heard of any of the boxing that needs high gluten flour. I don't really get how this flour is used in training unless it's used to train some obscure move. That doesn't sound right. Why don't we do this? Give me your demonstration of the move, and I'll take a look at what's going on. Give her a demonstration. That one forces the waist, and this move unexpectedly hits the arm. But at this angle, this move actually seems kind of familiar. Oh, I got it. This is the method for kneeing, kneeing dough. And not any kind of boxing school. Some customers have strong teeth and prefer chewy noodles. They have to use, they use high gluten flour with some careful knee, needling, kneading. Otherwise, you can't stretch out the chewy texture. Kneading, kneading. I can't say that word. Kneading noodles dough is rare as a tiring task. The ingenium knead knead dough cannot compare to the man, manual knead knead doughs. When you apply the force and you and know how you need there's a technique and a knockback and a knack behind everything you have to focus on your form otherwise you get lumpy and lumpy dough and scattering flakes so it can be completely wasted of time learning as a learning as a boxing skill it's quite true if you do good things with the in good intentions you should re recoup 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 it's just that you're not not a cook, so you kind of drop drop this clanger. There's no point in learning how this boxing technique, but there is for me. Here, Mister, thank you all for your effort. I don't want to put you out, so I prepared some several several specialty dishes for you. A sincere tombstone. 
Nice. Got those rewards. There's one more left, and it's actually right here. My, my never-ending childhood is buried here with the Zhao Fang. Not all Zanshao people get to live happy after after. You pour out a few lines of the tombstone, which seems to recount the tragic demise of a young Zanshao child. Besides the tombstone and several popular storybooks and lunchboxes, the tombstone doesn't really care whatever the occupant really has had a never-ending childhood. But this beloved Zhao Fang certainly will. Zhao Fang, the second, fifth, and thirteenth of all enjoyers of purity, have not been subjugated by knowledge. You are left speechless without speechless to how the names enough are for a huge family fill up a plain and ordinary tombstone. You're kneeling kneeling aware aware that the Zhao Fang sounds familiar to you. Maybe it's a certain family, ancient ancestral burial place. But you're curious to why the whole family is so obsessed with the name Zhao Fang. You're pondering trying to explore the hidden secret of the Zhenxiao dynasty, but Chris Child's voice interrupts your line of thinking. A young kid pops out of nowhere and pats you on the shoulder. No, he can't reach, so he pokes you in the belly with his soft little hands. Spinning, spinning around, you see him. Maybe you've been standing there in one place for too long because you feel a little dizzy. Everything all of a sudden seems like strange and you try to pull yourself together. Now you can clearly see who's standing before you. You're stepping on something of mine. Could you please kindly remove your foot? Something of yours? Yes, something here is of mine. You got a problem with that? Why are you staring at these tombstones? Do you know Zanfei too? I'm just a passerby taking a look. Then why are you staring at my tombstone? We don't know each other. But you start stepping all over my offerings. It's so rude. This is your tombstone? Yep, written all written out there all loud and clear. I am Zhao Fang. So what's so weird about it? All this is my sento path. We are video we video out or we get out hatching re we get out we get out our own hatching rebirth. Didn't you read the tombstone? I even wrote out every single rebirth super clearly. Fine, excuse me then. Don't stop don't step on my tomb. I like to move some stuff into my new grave. Let me think. Another three boxes of books still, and I have no idea why I love reading so much in my previous life. Ah, darn it. I forgot to bring these books again. You pivot your body to make to make make way for the kid and check out the inscription of the tombstones and the offerings on the ground all over again. You discover that the offerings not only indicate popular storybooks, but also poorly grade, graded exam papers covered in red lettering corrections. You start wondering rather this is just some kind of kid's elaborate prank. But when you spin around trying to ask the weird kid more questions, you discover he vanished. Now you think about it, you realize you have no, absolutely no idea exactly when he, when he was left. Or maybe you never even heard of footsteps and all this of his at all. Thinking of... Thing that has caused a bed bed of cold sweat roll to roll down your forehead. Lingering here is not a good idea. You decide to leave. Price of high morals. Close my eyes and oh my god, there's an enemy right here. Let's get out of here. Oh, who is this real phantom starship projection? Yuck! All for nothing. A fox in ceremony with. Will place items of the dead into the scarcity sending them out to the Zanshou and the stars of shining brilliance among them. But in fact, we are hoping the dead will broad the star skiff and return home, no? I just I had a discussion with our colleagues in the Skyfaring Commission, and we decided to place a projection of all the of the star skiff at the Fox Room Fox Room tomb. So everyone who comes to mourn will have something to pin their hopes on. Mother, take a look at this. What do you think? Well done. Let's keep it docked. We'll keep it docked at the Fox Room tomb. I honestly didn't know these two were here. Man, Yukon. It's you, Isaiah. Thank you for your help with the Phantom Star Skip this time. Please help me thank thank the Ghost Hunting Squad as well. I would like to thank your team too. You're welcome. It's our job. Understood. Thank you for your hard work. So why did you forbid the Skyfaring Commission staff to, from taking? talking about the phantom star skiff 
Word spread like wildfire. Who knows what kind of horrible legend it would end up as. Fair enough. We'll take our leave first. Goodbye, Isaiah. It's good to see him again. I was not expecting to see him again. I'm surprised he didn't get an achievement for that. Ship was mysterious, mysteriously disappeared in the sink many years ago, traveling in the sea. Since no one has found the ship, there's there are known as ghost ships. They are simply misidentified mis by the people. Could be, but it is kind of spooky. A starship skiff like that goes missing. Actually, we're not done with that kid yet. There's this tomb over here that has something going on. Oh, I must have did this one. Well, you know what? I think I did this in part one or two. It was very early on. Remember this tomb had offerings here and we broke them or whatever? Or I think we actually messed with them and they thought we were like stealing or something. The people that work here. Oh, I did that like out of order. Weird. Nice. Yeah, that was like the last thing to do with ghosts here. There's only like six of them. According to, uh... According to Holo Lab, there's like six of them from this poster. So, I think we'll just close it out there then. Investigate this gong real quick. Oh, you can go back here. Apparently that gong in the garden with all the bamboo was. You can just enter this realm. I think these are where the last two chests I need are. Oh yeah, this is one of those like maze ones. I should have listened to what those ghosts say. Oh, there's one. Because I checked the map and I checked everywhere else. Damn, get fucked, kid. Oh, there it is. The last two chests were inside the gong uh, past the bamboo garden. Through the narrows, the paradise beyond. After the bronze mirrors and obtain the hidden treasure in the floating islands. That's kind of cool they have you go back to a previous area like that. It's like, hey, remember going through here? Go through back here again and see what happens. That's kind of cool. I like that. I guess they are accessible to this map, but they're like way out of bounds, so you can't access them normal normal means. But yeah, that's the last two treasure chests too. We're pretty much done with this area. The challenge is done. This will probably be our last time seeing this place, unless I don't know a new event opens up here or whatever. This was fun. I really enjoyed this event a lot. I like the story. I like the um, Heliobias, the lore, and everything. Of how, like, early on, I think, in my, uh, Let's Play series. Give me one minute. It was episode 14 where they had that creation furnace. You remember that? That green fire in there was powered by Heliobus, and since it was destroyed by the Abundance, or I think they were set free by the Abundance, all those freaking Heliobi was running around rampant in this place. So it's kind of cool. They kind of built a little lore off of them, off a previous area in this game. I actually kind of really like that. Um, as for characters, Ho Ho and Tail, I like their dynamic a lot. I've actually really enjoyed her character as well, and I'm glad I pulled for her and her Lycone. You're freaking adorable and you're lucky you are adorable. Anyways, um, I liked her character a lot. I liked Hanya and of course her sister's way, which I actually do have both of them too. Both their designs I like real lot. And I'm sure there's like gonna be like character lore when you level them up and stuff with this whole information and whatnot. Yeah, they'll probably give shed a little more light on both of them on how they're twin sisters and all that stuff. Also, that light cone I talked about earlier, I think it way back in part two, um, about uh, Zwei passing away was pretty dark for a light cone. But anyways, that's my thoughts on it for now. I'm going to be closing out this event for good, and we'll be moving on to another event. We're going to be taking on the newer stuff that came out a couple weeks ago. So I hope you join me for that one.
But anyways, if you made this far into the video, I really appreciate it. I appreciate the love and support and the... And everything else. If you wish to support me further, I have my social medias. Twitter, Instagram, the description below. As well as my artist information too, with their Discord information. Thank you so much for watching, dudes. I really appreciate the love and support once more. And I will see you guys when we take on the newer events and quests and whatnot. Whatever we have left for this game to do. Until then, see you.